Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I uh, painted this lure right there. Um, yeah, um, I know I have been gone for a while. It's been a while since I've posted my last video. Um, that's just because like, we went into Code Red here with COVID and uh, we had some school plan changes. So now it's all online and it's gotten complicated. Um, and, um, yeah, so I've just been pretty busy with, like, school, like, it's, like, like, all day, so I don't have much time to make lures or videos, um, but, yeah, uh, I think I'm back, um, so, yeah, uh, I'll probably won't be posting as frequently as I used to, I'll probably be doing, like, one video per week, um, but, yeah, um, if you haven't already, like, subscribe to the channel if you want to um it would mean a lot to this channel um and yeah let's get to the bit the painting all right so the first thing i'm gonna do for this lure um uh what i want to do is leave some natural wood tones in it so i've got some coffee here and i'm just gonna use that to stain this thing um All right, um, there it is with the uh, coffee stain. Oh, it's quite a bit darker than it was before. Um, so uh, now um, I'm going to be painting the belly with some white. Uh, not the whole thing, just the belly because uh, I still uh, want it to... Uh, um, have that wood grain like I said in the beginning so yeah I'm just uh, gonna be painting the belly with some of this white um, yeah this is just some regular white acrylic paint that I uh, mix with water to water it down for my airbrush so yeah that's what we're doing and yeah. So now that I've got that uh, white painted on the belly of this thing faded into that wood, um, I'm going to be uh, painting some of this uh, brown on the top of it. Uh, now, I didn't really have brown paint, but you can get brown paint from mixing green and red paint together. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be painting that now. got some green paint on there I'm just gonna have to scrape that off maybe paint over it again ah. all right now that I've got that uh, brown top done uh, I'm gonna be uh, painting the top of this lure with some uh, 
black. And once again, it's just regular acrylic paint mixed with water. So now that I've got the black on top all painted, um, I've got this uh, stencil of the gill patterns. So I'm just going to be painting the gills. First I'm starting off with black on the gills. <laughs> So uh, now that I've got that black for the gills uh, painted on, I'm going to be uh, going on the gills with um, just a little bit of white or with white and I'm going to be moving up the template just a little bit so that it still has a little bit of a black line um, on the inside on the outside, so, yeah. <laughs> kind of like that, how it's got the black on the back and then the white. So yeah, I'm gonna do that with the rest of the gills. Okay, so this is how that thing is looking. And that's pretty much it for the paint scheme. Uh, now I'm gonna be painting the eyes for this thing. So I'll show you how right, I do so that. I, got, I forgot to film this, but uh, I've got these eyes painted white um, because I think that would look pretty good with the lure. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to be uh, gluing those eyes into the bait. I'm just using some regular super glue to glue in. Um, I think that looks pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to do that with the other eye, and I'll be back with you for the clear coat. All right, so for this clear coat, I'm just using some five minute epoxy. You can get this basically anywhere, like at craft stores or hardware stores. Um, yeah, I'm just using that five minute epoxy for the clear coat. And um, I've got this silicone brush, which is meant for like barbecuing but it works well for brushing on the silicone. That way I don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on brushes.
get uh, that clear coat of on. Now I'm going to let that to dry and probably do a couple more layers. And I'll be back with you with the finished lure. Alright, so here's the finished lure. Um, I put uh, three, a total of three clear coats on this thing. And on the last one I added some glitter in with that clear coat. And I like the way this thing turned out. I got some size one hooks on this thing. Those hooks are giant. And as you can see, you can see that wood grain in there. Um, yeah. Another thing I forgot to mention about this lure is that the eyes actually glow in the dark. So that's something, that's a cool feature about this thing. So I just mixed some of that glow powder in with the paint. Um, yeah. I like the way this thing turned out. Alright, that's the end of the video. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out my channel to see more videos like this.